Hi folks, it's Mike here with another video for you. Something a little different this time. No demo riding, I just want to discuss a topic that regularly comes up in the comments here and elsewhere. After posting a video I'll get a comment or email saying something like Mike, what's your thoughts on trail braking? Well here we go. YouTube over the last two to three years has become full of videos on trail braking. The technique has been around forever, but should you be using it on the road? So what do most people mean by trail braking? They're talking about staying on the brakes deep into the corner and feathering them off while you turn and apply the power. The benefits quoted are that you load the front tyre increasing the contact patch and therefore grip and you alter the fork angle and wheelbase of the bike allowing it to turn in more quickly. Then of course the main one. It allows you to maintain speed for longer and, and corner faster. You've all seen it in use on various MotoGP formulas and you've all seen the front end tuck under also. Now it's obvious from that description it involves a huge amount of overlap of the speed, gear and acceleration phases of Roadcraft Ipska. I'll put a link above to my video on doing those phases in the correct order. Given that overlap, you can probably guess what I'm going to say. On the road, if I'm riding to Roadcraft, my ability or the bikes to corner faster is not what is constraining my speed. In fact, many corners could be ridden through a lot faster without even slowing down, many times at well over the posted speed limit. So what is constraining my speed? The view through the bend or lack of it, the ability to stop in the distance I can see to be clear, other vehicles or hazards, junctions, the road surface, the speed limit. Given all these, why would I want to trail brake and carry more speed into a corner? But, but, I can hear the keyboard typing. What if you overcook it or the situation changes mid-corner? Well, in those cases, you do need the skill to be able to brake mid-corner while banked over. But, that is braking in a corner and is completely different to planning to trail brake into a corner. Advanced riding does not mean you never brake in a bend, but it does mean by careful planning you avoid having to do it too often. So do I trail brake? As part of my normal plan for a bend or corner, then no. But there are some situations where it is needed. Two good examples are downhill turns into side roads and the other is some of the crazily short slip roads that exist off major A roads. So it's not quite as black and white as never use it. Have the skill, but use it sparingly. Hope you found this useful. I'm sure the comments section will be lively. Until next time, keep safe.